Hello everybody, welcome back to the Nibiru channel. It is September 5th, 2016, and we have some absolutely amazing and exclusive photographs that have never been seen before. These photographs are taken from a weather camera in Alaska and dated for August 27th, 2016, and these photographs were just leaked to the Nibiru channel minutes ago. In this series of photographs, what you are about to see is going to blow your mind. These photographs were emailed to me about one hour ago. What you're visualizing is a weather camera situated in some part of Alaska. I was not given the details for the exact location, but what you are about to see is amazing. I think that you are seeing a breakdown of the artificial sun, which is the governmental cloaking device that has been in our skies and disguising what we can see from Earth. This object has been placed into the sky to prevent us from seeing these planets. There is absolutely no doubt, folks. What we are looking at is pure amazement. When I opened up this email and started to look through the series of photographs, it was total awe. I, I just didn't even know what to say. These are not lens flares. They're not orbs. This was a complete breakdown of that cloaking device, which they call the artificial sun. And it totally revealed multiple planets in our northern hemisphere, in Alaska, in the skies, dated August 27, 2016. If there's another explanation for all of this, I would love to hear it. These photographs blew me away. The halo that's protruding from the sun in these photographs looks abnormal. It doesn't look natural. Seeing these planets in the sky in this exclusive video was absolutely jaw-dropping. I want to hear your I want to hear your opinions. I want to hear them. I don't care how many trolls leave comments and tell all of us this is fake, this is photoshopped. I don't care about the name calling. I want to hear your opinions. This is absolutely amazing. The person that leaked this information to me, I think is very brave because this is definitely coming exclusively from a meteorology department of some kind and none of the photographs were blacked out or whited out or deleted like they do with a lot of the other webcams across the world. Now, I know for a fact, whenever I'm viewing the webcams for Mexico, they immediately start deleting photographs and you can tell that they are doing it because the screen automatically goes white, it flickers, and then it moves in time forward. And then you'll start to see additional photographs. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't even know what to say about these photographs other than, again, I am in complete amazement. Now, I want to know even more about what is in our sky. Am I possibly looking at two twin planets that are almost completely stuck together? Are we looking at other planets coming into our solar system other than Planet X, Nibiru, Arbata, Helion? Where are these planets coming from? It's almost like a complete invasion of our solar system. The problem that I have right now is our government is not coming forthright with us and telling us that there is something in our skies that may possibly be a very, very serious threat to mankind. I mean, what in the hell is wrong with them? Well, we obviously know they're politicians. It seems to me that they just don't care. Would there be civil unrest? 
Probably. Would people freak out? Probably. Would people be scared? I'd say that'd be 100%. But what gives them the right not to say anything to us? There's something in our skies that does not belong there. There's not a human being on this earth that has seen this before in their lifetime. I want to know. I'm sure you want to know. I feel I'm being lied to. I feel that we are under a major threat of a huge catastrophe. There is absolutely no doubt, folks, what we're looking at does not belong in our beautiful blue skies. I'm sorry, but we have to think about this very, very hard. Is it absolute time for preparation? I would think so. European governments are warning their citizens. They're disguising it under the possibilities of war. But why would European countries and the United States go to war? What reasonings do they have to go to war? I'll tell you one reason. To disguise and create a diversion for what's about to happen. We need to wake up. We need to really just start taking a look at what is going on in our skies. Ancient people did it. They didn't have smartphones. They didn't have computers. They didn't have telescopes, binoculars, anything of that nature. They looked to the skies. And there are some of us right now that are doing that. There's a handful of Planet X, Nibiru researchers. Oh, call us amateurs. Call us what you want. But we spend our time every single day researching this nemesis solar system. Me specifically, this is my way of trying to help mankind survive if we possibly can. Listen, folks, keep those emails coming. They are absolutely fantastic. I love hearing from you. Send your emails to NibiruPlanetX2016 at gmail.com. Don't forget to share our videos on Facebook with your friends and family members. Create the conversation. Start talking about it. Don't forget to subscribe to the Nibiru channel for all of our current updates. And like I always say, Keep an eye in the sky. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Nibiru channel. It is September 5th, 2016, and... We have some absolutely amazing and exclusive photographs that have never been seen before. These photographs are taken from a weather camera in Alaska and dated for August 27th, 2016. And these photographs were just leaked to the Nibiru channel minutes ago. In this series of photographs, what you are about to see is going to blow your mind. These photographs were emailed to me about one hour ago. What you're visualizing is a weather camera situated in some part of Alaska. I was not given the details for the exact location, but what you are about to see is amazing. I think that you are